Welcome to Mind Shock. This is Bruce McGuire, and it's April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's Day out there, everyone. And who's an April Fool? Is it everyone? <laughs> if you like the podcast, you can donate to our PayPal. Just check the link in the description. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. If you like this video or the podcast, feel free to share it across social media platforms. Any questions, comments, suggestions, insults, drop them in the comments section. Uh, like our Facebook page. You can also check us out on Reddit, Twitter, Patreon. Okay. April Fool's Day. A lot of people like April Fool's Day. It's a kind of throwback, I guess. Ancient Roman holiday. Hilaria. A lot of hilarious things going down on Hilaria. The vernal equinox, you know, occurring around March 20th when the sun passes over the equator. That was actually the basis for certain calendar systems. And on the switchover, when uh, a pope actually decided it was time to pull a trick, possibly, on the fool and switch April 1st being the New Year's Day. To January 1st. How many people know that? That's right. April Fool's Day. April 1st used to be New Year's Day. So in the 1500s, this switchover happened. And it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. The origins of a lot of holidays are occult in nature. Is this the April Fool's Day conspiracy? is the real April Fool's conspiracy that everyone in the world was made a fool. Did the Was the previous calendar system more accurate? Does this have to do with altered history? If you haven't checked out the Mind Shock Altered History podcast, check that out. That series is, goes pretty in-depth on the possible fabrication, fabrication or alteration of history and a mud flood. And history possibly be re being rewritten as little as 100, 200, or 300 years ago. Does April Fool's Day have something to do with it? The history books are, of course, written by the victors. The losers, including the losing calendar systems, or in physics, the losing theories. Whether it's ether or geocentrism. When the victors write the history books, they can kind of rewrite the past effectively, controlling the present, thereby controlling the future. So what are you doing out there on April Fool's Day? You're playing tricks on people? The trickster. Also, the trickster is often dis attributed to similar concepts as the devil himself. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he did not exist. Is And of course, in Tarot, the fool's path, you have the option of living life on the fool's path. Kind of jovial individual. We're not going to go into the occult regarding the fool and the fool's path because that is a very extensive podcast that needs its own dedication more so than just playing a fool on April Fool's Day. Is this a really a holiday in disguise? Paying tribute once again to the devil in a disguised fashion. So the devil comes in the name of truth, but actually is the father of lies. In occult and spirituality, this holds true in almost every regard. Similarly to Halloween, when, you know, there's a certain demonic nature to dressing up as ghouls and monsters and kind of celebrating it all. Is April Fool's Day, if the trickster entity is, is separate from the devil, or some kind of amalgamation, or mistranslation through ancient texts, is it's very difficult to understand the real truth. Is this tribute to the trickster guy? On Mind Shock, we've mentioned many times, if demons or spirits or some of these paranormal entities feed off energies, then the energies and thoughts and frequencies that the humans operate on, they can feed off of them. So playing tricks on people, laughing at them as a result, I mean, obviously there's good-natured humor, and then there are 
more sadistic and ill intent and ill intentioned tricks and pranks that cause harm. There's, uh, you know, a wide, there's a wide variety of this going on. So this isn't meant to deride or chastise any and all tomfoolery because there's a place for that every single day of the year. You don't need to just do that on April Fool's. But the, the notion of tricking, specifically tricking, like I remember back in elementary school, a popular one was, look, your shoe's untied. You look down, no, it's not April Fool's. <laughs> So, I mean, that's not a particularly harmful joke, and obviously that's used not just on April Fool's Day in the world of children, but uh, that was a very popular one. That was used more on April Fool's Day than any other, but some people go a bit farther, and when there are negative emotions as a result, or people getting angry or hurt in any way, is that paying tri tribute to the trickster god or trickster spirits? And once again, I'm not saying unequivocally that this is all demonic or negative. Trickster spirits might be neutral. Who knows? And this is simply uh, if they're if they're related to fairies of some kind or the Fae, ancient Ireland. If you haven't checked out my Hollow Earth series, you could check that out. That's extensively discussed. But what really happened hundreds and thousands of years ago, we don't know. And some of these tributes seem. Uh, structured around planetary bodies as well, or celestial bodies, which is also very interesting. A lot of gods are praised, and certain actions or ceremonies are in their honor, just like on April Fool's Day. So before you play an April Fool, or try to make an April Fool of someone else, you might want to consider that there might have been a vast April Fool's conspiracy going back to a Gregorian calendar tie-in where April 1st used to be New Year's Day. So on as a final thought, the, the actual trick or, or playing of a fool on the population, perhaps the previous calendar system offered certain clues or truths, not, not only in cosmology and the nature of our reality. Hope you enjoyed this quick look at April Fool's Day. If you like the podcast, you can donate to our PayPal. Just check the link in the description. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Feel free to share the video. Thoughts, comments, questions, suggestions, drop them in the comments section. Like our Facebook page. Check us out on Reddit, Twitter, Patreon. This is Bruce McGuire signing off.